An area model is a pictorial way to multiply two whole numbers. In this model, the length and width of a rectangle represent the factors, and the area represents the product of the length times width. That is, the area of a rectangle is length times width, so you can use the two factors as length and width. The area would be the product. So for example, the model 6 times 8 can be shown to the right. You see in that, uh, that picture to the right. If I want to do an area model for 4 times 6, I would need to uh, have one length before. So let's map out 4. And then I need a length of 6. Okay. And that would be my 4 by 6 um, model. If you count the squares, um, you know, 6, 12, 18, 24, you see that 4 times 6 gives you 24 squares. So 4 times 6 is 24. Areas of rectangles are not the only way to teach multiplication of whole numbers. Some other models include the array model, the skip model, um, skip count model, and eventually we'll get to the exploding dots model as well. The array model is a lot like the area model, except it uses discrete objects like uh, chips or letters or numbers or uh, rocks or whatever you want to use. So for example, Leah planted three rows of tomato plants and four plants in each row. How many tomato plants does she have? Uh, you have three rows, so I have three rows of T's and in each, and then each row I put in four different T's, so four plants per row. If you look at it, this is basically three rows, four plants in each row, three times four. If you want to count it, um, four plus four plus four, you still, but however you go about it, you get up with 12 plants. So name the multiplication fact given in the following arrays. In this one, you have two rows for part A, two rows. And one, two, three, four, five, six columns. So all together we have 12 different hearts there. As for part B with the triangles, I count one, two, three, four, five rows. And one, two, three, four columns. And overall that should be 20 different triangles. Multiplication as repeated addition can also be shown with a number line. So for example, to show 4 times 3 using the skip count model, I would go 1 arrow of 3, 1 arrow of 3, 1 arrow of 3, and a fourth arrow. You can also go 3 arrows of 4, uh, either way, but regardless you would end up with 12. So 3, 6, 9, 12. This, that's the skip count. You basically you count multiples of whatever the first number is. So four times three is three times plus three plus three plus three. That's four threes equal to twelve. For another example, we can show six times two using the skip count model. So one arrow, six, uh, one arrow, two, second arrow, third arrow, fourth arrow, fifth arrow, and a six arrow. So that tells me doing the skip count, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Uh, basically, we have 6 arrows uh, length 2. 6 times 2 is 12. So let's try to show 4 times 6. And we can do 4, ar uh, four arrows of 6 or 6 arrows of 4 either way. But here is 1 arrow of 6. Second arrow, third arrow gives you the 18, and then the fourth arrow would take you to 24. So 4 times 6 is equal to 24.